Governor Babajide Songulu, has ordered the reopening of places of worship in Lagos starting from Friday, August 7 for Muslims and on Sunday, August 9 for Christians. The governor also increases public gatherings capacity from 20 to 50 people. Unlike some states, including the FCT, that have opened up worship centers since June 19, Lagos State, the epicenter of the pandemic, has refused to open worship centers. With this development, it is hoped that the COVID-19 protocols will be observed by worshippers. Professor Ashak Akintola, Director of Muslim Rights Concern, joins us to discuss this latest development. Thank you very much for your time. Um, how will your organization ensure that mosques across the state maintain the Lagos State government regulations? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the Muslims uh, have been cooperating from the beginning. When the government said, don't open mosques, we stayed put. And now that things have decided to open up our churches, we're going to cooperate. The chief imam of Lagos, uh, Isem al Haji Imam, Ibrahim Nola, has uh, passed the directive of the Lagos State. And all the people are well informed. We support the decision of the Lagos State government to reopen because uh, when you look at the statistics, Nigeria and even Lagos State has not suffered from uh, the effect of the virus like countries in uh, the United States of America. Yesterday alone, 1,207 people died of coronavirus in the U.S. in one day. The total cases in the U.S. is now 4.6 million. But in Nigeria, we've been locked. And uh, there has been no serious rise, astronomical rise, like in other countries like China, Italy, and Spain. Nigeria has uh, just 883 so far. Lagos, 192 deaths, 15,186 cases. So the government is uh, taking the right decision. All right. So we talking and must at this time. Um, you know, a lot of excitement will be in the air for believe um, Christians and Muslims alike um, to go to their worship, their various worship centers. But the government has specified that it must be 50% capacity. How do you propose that mosque, your area of specialty, um, would adhere to you know the excitement of containing this number of people? Well, that has to be a problem. Um, the churches, the must know how to add information to their members. And they are going to do exactly that. Uh, instead of uh, everybody just, they can spread around the compound and on the street around the mosque. That's what we're going to do to ensure compliance the, with the purpose of um, uh, this uh, coronavirus. Just to, to protect, uh, you know, uh, Muslims and Christians. It is in our interest to, to, to obey health rules that we. we do you see mosque giving out directive to the elderly? Because one of the advice that was given by the government is that the elderly and those with uh, pre-existing health conditions should avoid going to uh, worship centers at this time. Do you see a directive from mosque asking the elderly to stay back uh, as against uh, coming uh, for worship? I don't see why mosques will not be able to do that. Uh, they we have the system by which we pass information. The, the area must know how to connect with the city mouth. They know how to connect with the central mouth. 
So, and that's what's going to happen from the chief imam, the person of, down to the uh, imam right to be. That is the local imam. This information will be passed across to the jamaa, that is, those who pray in, in the entity. The information will be passed to the elderly one. In, in any case, it's really constitutes a problem because almost everybody has keeping away from the mouth for the past four or five months. So to tell the elderly to serve the state will not be uh, straight. All right, uh, before I let you go, let me ask you this. Just like churches, there are mosques that are small and not financially strong to meet some of the protocols that has been set out by the government. Um, 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 temperature checks, hand sanitizers, social distancing, and all the other uh, rules, uh, guidelines that has been given. Um, how do you think these mosques will manage? Should they remain shut, including churches, or should they go ahead and do what they can to, um, in order for them to have a service? And when we talk of finance, uh, getting hand sanitizer, soap, wash stand, doesn't cost medium. And so if the spirit to cooperate, the spirit to cooperate, the government is there. Some um, sanitizers will not be too tough to provide. And uh, maintaining social distancing doesn't cost anything, doesn't cost no cover. It is that spirit of cooperation that is required. We want to do that. All right, Professor, thank you very much for joining us on the news. You are most welcome.